Professor Clements with you as we continue to investigate uh, concepts explored in Chapter 21 of the OpenStax uh, College Physics textbook. In this time, an RC circuit, a resistor and a capacitor in series with each other. And to start with, investigating the charging operation of this capacitor. A 3,000 microfarad capacitor, 5 kilo ohm resistor, that's 5,000 ohms. And we're going to close this switch at time equals zero. The 9 volt battery is going to supply charge to the capacitor. Initially, the capacitor charge is zero. The potential across the plates of the capacitor is zero. So the 9 volts here, zero volts here, there is a potential difference. And there will be a charge moving. The plus uh, Q will accumulate on the region uh, here where the electrons are attracted to the plus plate of the battery and electrons from the battery will move on to the negative plate of the capacitor through this resistor. Uh, the resistor limits the uh, speed at which the charge can build up on the capacitor uh, limiting the current. So let's see what uh, happens through the equations. We close the switch Suppose someone asks us, what will the potential across the capacitor be at a time of eight seconds? There's an equation in the book that will help you calculate this. So the potential at some later time equals the potential of our battery times the quantity one minus E raised to the power minus T over RC. R and C, 5,000 ohms. 3,000 microfarads. And if we simplify this just a little bit, the RC number here, the time constant is 15 seconds. Resistance times capacitance yields seconds, of, and the number happens to be 15. So our task is not too difficult. We need to mathematically evaluate uh, e to the minus 8 divided by 15. Put a negative sign on that. Add it to 1, and multiply by 9. The exponential is 0.5866. You should pause the uh, video and work this out on your own calculator. Make sure you obtain that result. I've rounded a little bit, of course. And then uh, subtract from 1, multiply by 9. 3.72 volts is the potential difference across the capacitor at a time of 8 seconds. 3.72 volts is the uh, potential across the capacitor at a time of 8 seconds. I would ask you, that's 3.72 volts. If we uh, subtract from 9, you know, 9 minus 3.72, 5.28 perhaps, 5.28 volts remain. Um, where is 5.28 volts in this circuit? 3.72 volts is across the capacitor. And you should be answering 5.28 volts is across the resistor. There's current in this resistance, and there's a voltage drop here of 5.28 volts. OK, second question. Suppose we charge up a capacitor, and we charge it up to 10 volts. We've got a different battery, different circuit, and we charge the capacitor up to 10 volts. Right now it's charged. It's carrying uh, Q such that uh, 10 volts of potential difference across the plates. That's at time equals zero. It's a different problem than the charging problem. We're now discharging. Same capacitors and in discharge, we want to uh, find the amount of time till we're down to 6 volts. Of course, when we close the switch here, now the electrons have a uh, path and we'll move to the positive plate of the capacitor. If here's positive and here's negative, the excess electrons here will uh, be a current moving through the 5 kilo ohm resistor. So as that charge drains off, Q equals CV, as the charge of the capacitor is reduced, the potential difference across the capacitor will be reduced. We want to know how long does it take to get down to 6 volts. Now the equation for the discharge is the voltage potential difference across the capacitor at the time we're interested in equals our starting potential difference multiplied by E to the minus T over RC. 
And again, as we had earlier, the particular numbers for resistor and capacitor here give us an RC of 15 seconds. Well, how would you solve for T? It's under the control of this exponential function. Your first step would be to divide both sides by 10. We get 0.6 equals e to the minus t over 15. Now, to remove the, uh, the t from the control of the exponential function, we're going to use the inverse function for the exponential, and that's log base e, the natural log function. Take ln of both sides. When you take the natural log of 0.6, you do get a negative number, roughly 0.5108. And as you uh, take the natural log of e to a power, they're inverse functions of each other. So the natural log of this exponential, uh, the two effects, the two functions cancel, and we just have the argument, minus t over 15 remaining. So we have a minus sign here, a minus sign here. They cancel. We want to know t. We multiply both sides by 15, and I get 7.66 seconds would be the approximate time for starting from 10 volts on this capacitor, closing the switch, using a 5 kilo ohm resistor in the uh, uh, circuit, 7.66 seconds would be the uh, time to get down to 6 volts. I have a question for you. Suppose I make this a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Will T be larger or smaller? you don't have to actually do all the work again. What you need to realize is this 15 is the time constant, RC. So if we double R, if we go from 5 kilo ohms to 10 kilo ohms, we double RC, so this would be a 30. We're going to double our result here. So 15.12 seconds, no, 32 seconds, 15.32. Work it out on a calculator and double check my math I did in my head. Um, but that's how RC circuits operate. Discharge uh, versus charging. For the charging, there is a different formula compared to the discharge. So you have to make sure you know what's happening. Is the capacitor discharging or charging? And select the appropriate uh, formula. Keep practicing.